Well, for our final movie that we watched this week, we checked out the 1979 film, The Warriors, okay? The Warriors. This is a film that I picked out, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Luckily, it's a fairly simple and straightforward film plot-wise, you know? So a film follows the Warriors. They're a gang in the distant future of New York City, okay? They're going to a big old jamboree where all of the gangs are meeting up here, okay? And uh, because, like, the leader of the biggest gang in the city is wanting to rally them together to fight against the police so they can all take over the city. It's going to be crazy, guys. Can you dig it? I was wondering where that quote came from. That's right, it came from this movie, Dylan. But unfortunately, he gets assassinated, and the Warriors get pinned for the blame. So now they need to make it back to their own turf so that they can finally be safe. But it's like 50 or maybe even 100 miles away. How are they going to make it there between all these other gangs and police? Well, they eventually do. Like, you know, a few of them get, like, killed and arrested along the way. But they make it back, you know, and they even bring a whore with them. That's the movie, guys. That's, That's the Warriors. This is really... such a weird movie. What the fuck is this shit, Nico? Wait <laughs> yeah, on a this? second, I was Jackson. really hoping your guys... guys. Huh? Yeah. I've got a haiku. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, true. We forgot the haiku. My bad. Hit us with that haiku. Thank you. This is my haiku inspired by the Warriors. Lo, a call to arms. A legend dead. Hunt them down. A liar revealed. <laughs> Whoa. So as you were saying, Jackson, yes, this is a very strange film, is it not? Yeah, what the fuck is this shit? Why'd you pick this? Because <laughs> I, I enjoy it quite a bit. This, this film is a cult classic, in fact. Actually, it was on its way to become just a general classic. It was supposed to do, like, really well. But, like, you know, when the film initially, initially launched in theaters, it was doing really well. It was, it was selling, like, hotcakes, okay? Uh, but then genuine, like, gang warfare started breaking out at a couple of theaters. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and so this film ended up getting, like, just immediately pulled from, like, every theater because they were terrified to show the movie. That's fun. So, I think of how much better this country would be if, like, gangs were, like, as they are in the Warriors, <laughs> They're though. just so it's easily danger. identifiable. <laughs> yeah, they're easily identifiable, and they just, all they kind of do is walk around and fight each other. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like I with gotta, this, you know. I mean, it sounds like they they like have their own turf and they're planning on taking over the city. So like, uh, allegedly they probably do like actually like you know terrorize the civilians as well a decent bit. We never really see that though. No, we don't. <laughs> I got like even question. like we see regular civilians like on the uh, the bus or whatever. Presumably they should be able to recognize. Oh, these are gang members. But they don't seem that concerned about it. Yeah, I think the most we see of it is when that one gang robs that one random store, and that was about it. Oh yeah, they like, yeah. take like yeah. a candy bar from her or something. <laughs> the, moment, gotta, like, the most nefarious act they could have committed. I right. got a dumb question. What's up, Dylan? What's your question? This movie was set in the future. Yes. Yeah, it says in the near future. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they could. They were unable to predict. Uh, cellular telephones, <laughs> which means this movie did not uh, come across as timeless as the director hoped. I mean, like, even when the movie came out, I don't think that there's anything about it that would hint towards it actually taking place in the future if you just completely yeah. removed that line. There was there was I, nothing that showed, like, hey, this is somewhere in the future because it looked as old as the movie was. I think it's a, a fair bet on the director's part that there will always be some city out there that is completely run down and gang infested. Yeah, I think that it was just supposed to give it like a slight dystopian tinge, maybe, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad this movie is as simple as you explained, because I felt the whole time I was missing something. <laughs> Uh, no, this isn't this like a midsummer was... or something. It's a, it's a very uh it's very straightforward. It wears its heart on its sleeve, you know. Yeah, uh this movie wasn't very engaging. I didn't find Fuck it very you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't yeah, it was kind of boring. I didn't really I had find a strong feeling you'd think that way about it. Yeah, I I don't know. I I get I get the plot. I get the camaraderie of this gang. I get the idea that this gang in particular is really good at fighting people, and they usually come out on top. Um, only, like, one of them dies and another one gets arrested. That's kind of it. Two um, of them die, Dylan. Their leader also dies. Was it? No, no, no. There was just the one guy that got thrown on the train tracks. Where'd the other guy die? Uh, like, right at the beginning of the movie. He gets elbowed to death at the place because he gets accused of murdering the big leader. I must have missed that part. Bummer. 
Or maybe I didn't recognize him. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't super attached to any of the characters. It was kind of whatever. Um, but you loved the whore. No. <laughs> I thought the whole movie was kind of whatever. I wasn't. It, it wasn't engaging. It didn't demand my attention. So there wasn't anything really to latch on to. I was just kind of here for the ride, I guess. I'm sorry this and movie didn't I, have a big ice storm for you, okay? <laughs> to keep and you then, engaged like, they in made it. it back to where they were at the beginning of the movie, and then... Like, they were like, let's go to the beach, and then they set, the warriors set up the guy who assassinated the the, the gang leader, and then all of a sudden, ever they somehow managed to hide, like, hundreds of gang members behind a sandbank or something to hear it? Like, what? No, I think, uh, it's just, you know, they beat the guy by throwing the knife in him, then the big gang shows up, and they're just like, hey, that guy actually did it, and... You know, I don't know how you could just Uno for some reason. Yeah, I, don't, I was about to say I don't know well, how you could just Uno reverse the last twenty four hours. Yeah, that's why I was assuming it was a setup or whatever. Because my assumption just... was they didn't hear him admit it. <laughs> I I always run into this issue with older movies where I am trying to figure out if the voice lines are separate from how do I portray this accurately? The acting lines, I guess, it, basically having voiceovers because their their words were desynced with what they were doing or saying. Yeah, I didn't notice yeah, any of that sort of issue at all. Often mm-hmm. lines are ADR'd. So I don't know. I don't. I don't. Whenever I see that in a movie, I know it can also just do with sound production, sound quality. In the past, it just kind of takes me out of the movie as well. It's kind of like eh, whatever. This movie's off to a rough start, but. Dude, this movie that's, that's... was so fucking silly, though. I love this shit. Okay, you have those silly? fucking like uh, you have those comic book panels popping up here and there. That uh, one of them mm-hmm. just says like, "Oh shit." <laughs> That stuff's pretty silly. You have uh, them using, like, their lingo of back in the day, like, them boppers, okay, boppers. The guy saying, can you dig it? That shit's fucking great, dude. I'm a big fan of all that shit. I find it funny how abrupt the uh, comic panels are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, they will just come on with no lead-up at all. I mean, the, the There are the a comic... couple times where I'm like, oh, okay, where I'm like, this scene is gonna keep going, and then it's a comic panel <laughs> onto the next thing. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we're done over there. The comic panel art is good. I will give this movie that. I thought it was terrible, but in <laughs> a charming The comic book way. panels also weren't in the original film either. That was a director's original cut Original film? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. it was, we watched the director's version, Dylan. Interesting. Yeah. Um, for me, I thought this movie was a fun romp. Uh, I think the characters and the setting is pretty entertaining. Uh, the music, I think, is very good. I think this movie had the best music out of all three movies we saw. Oh, for sure, dude. Smash Mouth, though, dude. <laughs> Did you forget about Smash um, Mouth, Tanner? I, no, I, I pretty distinctly remember <laughs> that. Rest in peace, um, the lead singer of Smash Mouth as well. <laughs> uh... I found it very funny how, like, every single gang is, like, very clearly, like, teenagers and shit. Yeah. Except the main gang, <laughs> who is, like, exclusively grown men. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it's very funny to me. Uh, dude, the fucking gangs um, in this movie are fantastic, okay? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah they're pretty You have shit like the fucking, just the guy rollerblading around for no reason. <laughs> you have the fucking, the baseball furies, guys. Did you like the baseball furies? Just I these guys the dressed in theories. baseball outfits just with wacky face paint on which has nothing to do with them being baseball players but they have it for some reason it's fucking hey it's a gang thing man it has nothing to (laughs) do with baseball they still refer to it as colors um you know as if they're wearing handkerchiefs or whatever uh the action in this movie is hit or miss the choreography is bad i (laughs) I don't know if i i think there are a couple scenes where it works for me Uh, a, a lot of times it doesn't and it just does not look like hits or landing or they're just doing <laughs> weird moves yeah let's say where i'm like mm-hmm. why would a human being trying to win a fight do that <laughs> um and yet the plot is almost non-existent <laughs> the plot is there dude it's a story that doesn't exist okay yeah i was gonna say sure, if- whatever but I-, I think it's fun I- it has its charm it definitely does this y- the Big thing you have to give this movie is that it has its very own style, okay? Uh huh. True. That's for you though, Jackson. Uh, you have my. Uh, you have many thoughts on this one at all? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That if That was that goes a well. movie. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was something I witnessed. I don't. I think it was entertaining. I think it was very weird. I liked the costume design and the general uh, quirkiness of it. But yeah, no, uh, its plot was like non-existent. Uh, there really isn't, like, a through line to grasp at all. Yeah, and I'm ignoring everything you just said. Um, 
characters are weird. Um, I don't really the fucking like the the I think the weirdest thing for me is like the big gang of a bunch of black guys and they <laughs> seem like this massive character. They're hunting them down or something. And, like, they're just a total nothing burger at the end of the movie. Uh, this movie is, like, totally fucking, like, it's a, I don't know, it's like a, an exercise in pointlessness. <laughs> well, but you see, a, this film like is a, uh, it's an urban fantasy. It's a modern retelling of the Odyssey. Yeah, who fucking cares? <laughs> Man, I relate to Jackson on so many levels right now, I'm curious to see what your rating is and see if it's exactly like mine. Speaking of curious of what your rating is, <laughs> Jackson, what's your rating? No, Dylan, what's your rating? Okay do it uh yeah this movie was a, a ride to sit through i guess i gave it a c minus wow okay jackson bit. reveal it to us what's your rating then i'm definitely not that low but i give it a c <laughs> that low mm. <laughs> just right i next think to i it. think it's all right i i think it's weird and i think there's the weirdness stands on its own but a lot of the movies just kind of boring and pointless yeah i felt like it was just a pointless movie it was like made for nothing <laughs> Nico, let me hear yours. Uh, I'm going to give it the exact same rank as Predator, B+. Okay. Huh? I think I am going to go... I wrote down two ranks because I'm really in between two here. It's, uh... it's like S plus and F minus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm in between. There is no yeah. in between. Uh, there's exclusively in between there, Dylan. Uh, I'm going to go C plus. Whoa. Damn. I was thinking about a B minus, but after this discussion, I'm like, you know what? It is kind of weak in most realms that make movies a movie. But it's a fun. It's a fun. It's run. fun. I, I it's don't think I'll ever run. watch. I don't think I'll ever watch this movie again. But I think it's it was a I, fun experience for the first time. I literally write down the words "fun romp." So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is a movie that I'd probably turn on in the background while I do like house chores. There you go. Yeah, and then when you get, when. You look up, uh, you're like, man, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> would you guys ever show this movie to a significant other? I would say yes. personally, no, because I think the girl would be like, holy shit, these guys are fucking hot. Why can't you be more like them? And I could never. <laughs> I think it's an experience, at least. I think it needs to be viewed at least once, unlike some other movies I can't say that about. I would be shocked if my significant other had not already seen this movie. It is a very I famous would... one. I've never heard of this movie, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Anyone who's heard of this one. Yeah. I was really hoping it was going to be about the Warrior Cats, man. You get really <laughs> disappointed there. Yeah, this uh, this movie landed at a C+. Not too shabby. Sounds about right. 